Try to solve the problem, not the person. Try to solve the problem, not the person. When you've been married, you end up trying to solve the person, not the problem. Here's what happens. The two become one, that's what the Bible says, and then we spend our time arguing over which one we became. I want her to be more like me. She wants me to be more like her. I want barbecue. She wants a salad. Well, let's find a place that serves barbecue and salads. Or let's go back and forth on it a little bit and meet in the middle. But let's not try to solve the person, but solve the problem. Now, let me tell you this. There's some things in your marriage you're just going to have to get over. You're just going to have to get over it. I talk a lot. 22 years into the marriage, my wife's got to know I talk a lot. I talk a lot as a profession. I talk a lot personally. I talk a lot. So I say things. It's like, why did you say that? I can't believe you said that. Well, you talk a lot. You say things you shouldn't say. That's how it goes, right? (laughs) Thankfully, I earn a living talking a lot. You know, it's worked out to my advantage. But that means that I want to be at the party X amount of time longer than she wants to be at the party, right? We got the introvert, extrovert thing going on. So does it mean we need to stay two hours later at the party to talk to every single person that entered into the party? Or... Does it mean that we need to leave a little bit earlier? She's going to have to stay a little bit later. I'm going to have to leave a little bit earlier. We joke and we say this. I've said this to you before. She'll like to talk to one person at the party. I like to talk to everybody at the party. She's like, why? How can you talk to everybody at the party? I'm like, because I'm shallow. That's why. <laughs> and the reason you like to talk to one person at the party is because you're deep. I don't want to get cornered talking to one person the whole time. There's so many people to talk with. They need my presence and my joy, and I must, I must be around, Right? So what's the deal with Kelly? Kelly's got to get over it in that way to a certain extent. What's the deal with me? I got to get over it to a certain extent and make sure those date nights and date days, I don't invite more people to come, right? (laughs) So we could be there together, and there's just things you're just going to have to work through. But don't solve the person. Solve the problem. And whenever you solve the problem, you're becoming more like Jesus. Because Jesus said in the garden, not my will, but yours be done. And there's times in marriage you just got to say, not my will, but yours be done. Hey, thanks for watching. To find out more about Houston's First, you can subscribe to our channel or you can go to houstonsfirst.org.